This is the end of course practice test for Algebra 1 on the Tennessee end of course test. This is question number 42. The total cost for renting a banquet hall includes a one-time rental fee and a cost per person attending the banquet. The relationship between the number of people attending the banquet and uh, the total cost is shown on the graph. And here's the graph here. Uh, you should probably notice that this total cost is over here in dollars. So if it says $450, it actually is $450. And the number of attending, uh, people attending the banquet. They want to know which equation best represents the relationship between N and T. Well, in this case, uh, since you have a one-time fee and there's a cost per person, it's probably going to match up with the whole slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So in order to find that, we need to figure out what the slope is, and we need to figure out what the um, y-intercept is. Well, if you see, this, the t uh, axis, looks like the y, and the n axis looks like uh, the x. So I'm going to look here to find the y-intercept, and it's right here, which is halfway between 150 and 0. And if you don't know, half of 150 is 75. So I'm going to look for plus 75. Anything with minus here is ridiculous. That would, mean, that would be saying that uh, it, they'll pay you to hire them. That's not a very good company. So you know anything with a negative in front of that final number is out. So now you're either looking at it being a plus 15n or a negative 15n. I mean, this question is ridiculously easy once you look at it for a second. It's going up, right? So it's going up, so it has to be H. If it was going down, number one, that would say that the banquet, it's cheaper the, the more people that you have there. So if you have a big banquet, no big deal. It's really cheap for you to work. No, no problem. But that's not exactly uh, what we want to do. We want to go up in price because that's realistic. So the answer to number 42 is H.